Hi everyone, Nicole here with Estes Education. We are in part four of our Alpha Rocket build series. If you need to start at part one, there's a link in the description below. In part four, we're gonna be working on installing the recovery system, folding the parachute, and then preparing the rocket for flight with an engine and recovery wadding. Let's get to it. Okay, now we are going to attach the shock cord to the nose cone and attach our parachute. So the first step is cutting out this little eyelet, just this little piece of plastic from the nose cone, but don't cut off the whole thing. Okay, so now the eyelet is off and we are going to attach the parachute to that first. So take the parachute, get your lines all kind of straightened out, and then put all of them through here. Okay, and then get a loop. Make sure that you get all of them and you're just gonna put the parachute through that loop. So now we have our parachute attached, and then we're just gonna attach the shock cord by doing a double knot on there. Okay, so those are good. If you have some extra here, you can trim that if you want to, but it should be fine. Um, and then we are going to prepare the rocket for flight with recovery wadding and then fold our parachute in there. So recovery wadding is from Estes, it's fire resistant tissue. It's really important for protecting the parachute from the gases from the engine. The instructions tell you how many sheets to use. For this one, we're using three to four. And make sure you take them individually and then crumple them up and put them inside the body tube. Don't crumple them too much. You want them to really take up space in the body tube. And then you can use a pencil or a pen just to push them down. Again, we're not crumpling them too much, but just making room for our parachute up here. And then for folding the parachute, you wanna kinda air it out the first time just so it's not sticking together. And then there are lots of ways to fold this. We're gonna keep it pretty simple. Just gonna fold this in half here. Move my knife. Um, and then I'm gonna fold down the top of this and then fold in the sides. And then just roll this. Okay. And then with your shroud lines, we wanna wrap them around this, but we wanna do it really loosely. You can even just turn the parachute to get the lines around there. Not too tight or else it's not gonna unfurl correctly. And then all this is gonna go into the body tube. And you wanna make sure that your parachute has enough room that you can move it out easily. If it's too tight in there, it won't come out correctly. And then your nose cone should be a nice snug fit, but not too tight. Um, if you tip it upside down, it shouldn't come off, but you want it to be nice and snug on there. Okay, last thing is we need to install our engine. So this one, I've got engine here. You wanna make sure the nozzle side is out and just slide it right in there. Make sure the engine hook clicks over the top of that. Then we're going to install our starters and plug. So your starters come in packs of two. You can just rip them or cut them apart because we'll just need one. And it's really important that we get this tip making contact with the propellant in here. So basically that means you wanna push it all the way in until you find resistance, not jamming it. You don't wanna break any of the wires, but put it in there and then we'll take one of these plugs from here just to keep it in there securely. Okay. 
so then the plug is in there. And some people like to bend these wires um, just to make it easier when you're on the launch pad. And then you're good to go. Your rocket is prepared for flight. All right, you did it. Congratulations on completing your Alpha rocket build. Now it's time to find a beautiful day, head outside, and have a great time launching. Keep an eye on this channel for more build videos like this, and we'll see you next time.